another parable put he forth unto them, saying, Now understand, this is a parable. He put this forth, and it has to do, verse 1, or rather 24, and his first statement explains, the kingdom of heaven. In other words, what is our subject? The kingdom. That is a king who has a dominion. And that dominion is the, of heaven, all right, is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. That field, beloved, you're going to find out is this world. God, um, in that heaven, his own kingdom, for he is king, sowed good seed, if you would, in that field, which is the earth. Verse 25. Now, remember again, I caution you, this is a parable. But while men slept, this means in the night, while men were looking the other way, his enemy came. Who's the enemy of God? I think all of you would know it's Satan, all right? And he sowed tares among the wheat and went, and went his way. Now, Jesus knew horticulture very well. Tares are what are called today ziwan. All right, they, it looks exactly like wheat as it's growing if you have it in a wheat field. So now we're going to get to why the rapture is a lie. And it is because God's actually going to gather up the tares first and burn them. And people always say that there's an invisible disappearance called the rapture. And that's just not true. That's not going to happen because this guy's going to tell you that. I remember this now. Long time ago, I ran into this stuff. <laughs> I forgot all the details, but it's interesting that if the parable of the sower is about coming out of your penis and blasting it into a vagina, then uh, why is it that he explains it differently? Our own Lord, why did he skip over those verses to get to the second parable? Interesting. Just skip over it. Skip over Jesus's explanation of that parable. He actually gives you the explanation of it because... Uh, he says in verse, this is 18 through 23, he explains it. Hear you therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. So it's not banging some broad and coming in her crotch. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. But he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and now with joy receiveth it, yet he hath no root in himself. But do it for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. It doesn't say semen. There's no sperm here. There's no little swimmy little things. He also that received. Well, there's no well, going on. Well, here's the thing. He said he was talking in a parable. He's mentioning that. But not only that, you're only listening to one version of his explanation. And this is not his Genesis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chapters he's doing this in front of a audience on tv because this is a question that people are asking so it's people have already done some homework and they're asking questions so he's actually going to the questions now that's what he's trying to answer so you're getting it in the middle of the story that's why he, he even told you that coming in so you know here's the thing i can i can i can sit there and say oh i don't believe that and just shut my ears off or I can listen to what he right. has to say. I should really give the guy a chance. I should really give him a chance, you know, and go back to studying this stuff because he might be true. And all this shit that I believe exactly. is a fucking lie. Yeah. Well, not all, but no, nobody had nobody had it all figured out. Even the prophets didn't have it all figured yeah. out. They didn't know Maria, that Christ was going to be born when he was. And first Maccabees and everything. Yeah. And the book of Nicodemus and the gospel of Thomas. I mean, it's time. And I'm going to listen to Lionheart. There's a guy on here called Lionheart. He believes this stuff. You should go check out his channel. Write that down sometime. It's called Lionheart. Okay. L -I well, like I said, but but even, but even if I listen to uh, Arnold Murray, there's some things that he'll talk about that I'll sit there and I'll roll my eyes and go, he doesn't know what he's talking about because you and I know better because we're farther along down um, time, the, the times of, you know, we're, we're getting near the end now. Oh, here we so, go. Kevin. Let him have it, Kevin. I don't... Hey, Dave. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm, gonna ch I'm switching gears, Kevin. Since I'm once saved, always saved, free grace, I'm going back to Arnold Murray to learn about the serpent seed. And I want to find out, uh, you know, the truth of the Book of Enoch and Maccabees and all these other things. 
Yeah, stay clear, Arnold Murray, man. That guy was. Why is that? Boy, he may be. He may be a man of God. Man of God. No, he's not. He led one of my friends astray. I, I can't stand that that bum. Well, well tell us why. Because he's he, he preaches on, racism. Second, guys, we're getting, re- we're getting a re- we're getting a reverb. Re- Where's it coming from? Oh, it's coming for you, Kevin. Can you hit that? Can you go in that uh, setting where it echo cancels or whatever? Try it again. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> Arnold Murray's on this on the shit list. I mean, I don't. Not know. on my I mean, shit list. Not on my like shit it. list, but okay. <laughs> you think he's a man of God? Um, I have a hard time believing that he's not, but I don't think that he had all the answers. That I would say that I don't think I have all the answers. I don't think you have all the answers. I know that Arnold Murray didn't have all the answers, but he has a good explanation here. If you will give it an ear. I'm waiting for Kevin to come back. I hope he comes back. Actually, he just had a he had some reverb going on there. He'll probably come back in a moment. Uh, so anyway, give us uh, here's what here's what I need. You got to convince me that I should listen and study Arnold Murray, and why. And then I'll do. Well, I just said. You got to convince me. Well, okay. The only thing I can suggest is. I am not a guy that studied the Bible and knew the Strong's Concordance backwards and forwards or the uh, Companion Bible backwards and forwards like he does. He refers back to these things many times so that you can get the actual meaning of the word. So only, only Genesis chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 I would listen to. That might take you three hours to listen to him, but he'll go with a thorough explanation. I can't do it justice. I didn't study like he did. I've read Genesis Just like, one before six thousand times, at least, and I don't need anybody to okay. tell me what it says. So if I listen to this guy tell me what it says in between the lines, it's really not going to do me any good. But you know, well then I can't. You know what? It's like you said. It, it's it, the Bible tells us very clearly. If you have somebody that doesn't want to discuss these things, then don't have an argument with them. Just move on. And that's what I'm saying to myself to you. If you don't want to look at it, if you don't want to look at the Arnold Murray stuff, then don't look at it. Then don't look at it. If you want to look at it, you want to see his point of view, then look at it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you you have to or not. Hey, uh, Mr. King, you know what the book of Jude says to earnestly contend for the faith, right? Do you agree? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, so but I also somebody... know that we're supposed to study to show ourselves and prove. I also know that John 14, 26 says that we're supposed to have the Holy Spirit teach us all things. Some people aren't ready for everything. I've learned a lot in the last, you know, X amount of years that I've been studying. I don't know it all. So, so I, I don't. Is preaching, or so, if someone is falsely teaching, especially a false gospel, shouldn't we uh, call that out? Well, you know, it's a matter of opinion, don't you think? Uh, no, the gospel is quite clear according to scripture, sir. Well, yeah, it is according to scripture. And I don't think that he said anything that's against scripture. However, you guys really? have your opinion. Can you show me and I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to elect. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to reason. He, he held, he I, held I don't know if a, a predestination and that you can become a fallen angel like the stuff he preached was garbage. He's a modalist. He, he's a heretic. He doesn't believe the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit are co-equal, co-eternal. Uh, he believes in the serpent seed doctrine, which preaches racism. Certain groups of people on this world can't be saved because they're offspring of the devil, which is absolute lunacy, nowhere in the Bible. So he, did, he doesn't preach that. Gonna defend he, this he false doesn't, teacher, you're going to go to hell right along with him. He, he did not say that, as a matter of fact. Uh, he actually says the, quite the opposite. He actually says that he doesn't, uh, he doesn't look at Mexicans, I'm half Mexican. He doesn't look at Mexicans or Chinese or Indians or uh, Japanese as anything less than what this kind of are. garbage. Let a friend of mine he, said that. He, he opened up his mind to this demonic serpent seed crap. And then he also bought into the lie that white people are the real Israelites and the black people are of the, the serpent seed or whatever. Like the, all this does is lead to racism and nonsense. This is not of God. This well, is the devil. Uh, but he, but, he, but, he, but you, are, you will never see opening you never, the door for that garbage. And I don't appreciate you coming out here defending this heritage. Okay. You will never, ever, ever, ever 
hear Arnold Murray say that. What you just said, you'll never, ever, ever, ever hear him say that. And I know because I've listened question. to him for five years. He's never, without, ever, without, ever, without, ever said. I don't, I don't he's never, damn. ever, ever said damn, that, without that the there's, hey. he's never, Would ever, agree, ever said anything agree, about hey, racism, hey, ever. Hey. And I'm half Mexican, I know. I don't care. I'm half black. Good for you. You know that the serpent. But he doesn't say that. Maybe other people have done that and gone off on a tangent, but he hasn't. No, no, no. L listen, because you're you're speaking from emotion. You're not thinking logically. Doesn't the serpent seed doctrine lead to opening the door for all sorts of different kinds of racism? Well, reading the Bible opens the door for all sorts of stuff too. It depends on how you interpret it. Sir, where in the Bible does it teach that Eve had sex with the devil? I was just showing that to um, Dave. I guess you came in late. Well, it's not yeah, really it's not in there. Really it's in not really in the in the sixty six canonical books. Right, I know it's not. That's why it's garbage. It's in the case of it's not really in there. It's definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> beg your pardon. I've just been drinking a coffee. Uh, it's definitely not in there. But it's it's I guess it is, it, it is, it is actually in there, and that's what he's he's explaining right, it right it now. Again, it's in the right, let's look at it again. I'll bring it up. Honest, I'll look it up. So then, uh, where is that? Well, I'll just bring up a new one. Genesis, Genesis chapter. chapter. See what what racist retards can do is they can they can turn this rape, the serpent seed into anything that oh I don't like black people so therefore they're the seed, the serpent seed or I don't like Asians so they're the serpent seed and all it is is just racism it's stupid and it's not taught in scripture but Arnold Murray, Murray doesn't do that ever he's I never done that Arnold Murray, the door for the Arnold Murray has never said that Arnold Murray has never said that ever it doesn't matter See, right here it says Adam knew his wife Eve and she conceived her king so it should say and the and and Satan the serpent knew Eve, Adam's wife, and they had a child called Cain. We need the really should say version. I can't see it here where it says in English straight up that Eve. Well, had you can't see it in English. That's why I told you. You look at the Strong's Concordance. You look at the Companion Bible, and you look at the Greek Aramaic meanings of these words. Nobody ever said that the King James version is the 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 perfect translation of scriptures. Well, we know that it's not. I mean, none of them are. They're all. all so there you go. Right. So if it's not the perfect, then how? So that's then why would you take all? All the, we look at all the other imperfections is try to average them out. Right. Well, so what do you like? I said, um, to look at. I'll look at it. What's a better text? Uh, well, so I what at, I would do. Look at the well, Septuagint. Well, no, I would look at like I said the Strong Support. It's a companion Bible. Go along with that, or the Greek Aramaic. Of what these words mean. When I and 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 of course you got to okay. Here's a good example. Just just to kind of validate the point I'm making here. Do you know what real money is? Based on Black's law book, well, what is real money? It's not Federal Reserve notes. It's gold and silver. Right, but if you go and look at the uh, that's in the first versions. But if you go later versions, they twist it, and now all of a sudden, currency is money. But it's not. It's gold and silver. They change the translation. They change the meaning of the words. That's why they keep on making new additions, new versions. But if you go to the originals of the Black's Law, you nailed it. It's gold and silver. Sorry, Kevin, you got kicked out again. I don't know why. You got a little background noise. Kevin. Can you hit that echo kick, kicker? That echo cancel? Or whatever you do when you get on. on uh, it on is. Yeah. It's just, it, I'm on yeah, my phone. Getting, I'm getting the rap back. Big time I uh, hear myself in there. I don't know why. Is that weird? Yeah, some kind of little something going on there. Okay, now what I'm, I'm looking at here. Um, stuff out. I mean, if okay, you had okay, okay here's, what I, here's, what, here's, here's what I got in front of me. I've got the Companion Bible in large okay. type uh, by Craigle, K R E G E L, King James Version. Okay, and I'm on page 11 on the right hand side, 
And it says, uh, this is just starting off with chapter uh, six of uh, Genesis. This is their commentary. The chrono chronology having been brought up to Noah, okay, the history takes as back, not forward. Men equals seeing with art, the man, Adam, earth equals Hebrew, ha ha dam, uh, uh, ha dama, ground them to Adam and Eve, as in Genesis 1, 27 and 5, uh, the sons of God equals angels. And 26, God, ha Elohim, the creator, men in contrast with angels. Hebrew, ha ada, ha ada, ad, Ham sing the man Adam. They emphasis wives equal women, spirit, Hebrew ruach, strive, remain in with sept, Arab, S Y R, and Vulgate only here. But right there, it just finished saying that the man, the, the, um, the sons of God were angels. The sons of God, angels. That's in uh, 6.12. And that's on page 11 of the Companion Bible. Of the one that I have. And I, I, I'll have it next time you see me, Dave. Um, yeah. Just remind me to bring it. And I'll bring it so you can look at it. Sure. It's right there. It's, it, so that's, that's you you're know. Reading, you're, reading a, you're reading what's called. The companion Bible, which is just you're just reading a commentary, right? You're not reading the actual text. Well, uh, uh, it's it, what it is, is it's um, it, it breaks it down into the Greek and the Aramaic, kind of like a concordance. It does a homework for you. Let me see if we can. Uh, I'll bring it so you can take a look at it. But like I said, it's not a commentary. It's not like it's not like Matthew Henry. Which goes to you know Daniel nine twenty seven or twenty four through twenty seven says oh that's that's Antichrist that's the covenant with many no that's Jesus Christ that's what Matthew Henry says is Jesus Christ but most people, most people that go sir, to a that church will tell you that that's uh, Jesus or that that's this, Antichrist. Uh, it's not. Antichrist why was this belief not taught in Christianity before the eighteen hundreds ah great great question. Why is and it I have, that? Um, and I have another question for you as well: Is why is in the first century when Irenaeus wrote his work against heresies, the Gnostics were teaching that the snake had sex with a woman that gave birth to this light uh, race of darkness? So there, it seems like there's a form of Gnosticism that this is from, and then it's 1800s. Some fringe nut job trying to pretend to be a Christian and teach this stuff. Okay, so I heard what you said. Did you want me to answer your question? Yeah, go yeah, for go it and then answer this question. Does truth change over time? Truth doesn't change, but the translations change, and then they convert the words and make them say something different. For example, hey, this is the 1950s. I'm going into a feed store, and I'm going to buy some chicken feed. And the guy says, how are the chicks doing? I go, bad. <laughs> the chicks are really laying some eggs. Now, let's go into the 60s and 70s. I go in to a feed store, and the guy says, how are the chicks? I go, man, the chicks are looking fine. It's a whole different meaning, whole different context, oh. different generation. It's called hermeneutics. Yeah, we got a couple of times, man. Okay, so Genesis chapter 6. Here's your companion Bible. Yeah, you got it. Okay, good. So go to chap. There it is there. See? Okay, stop. See where it says right there on the number two? The sons of God equals angels. It's right there. I'm looking. I'm, I haven't read their commentaries ever in my life on this one. Let me see. Okay. See Appendix 23, 25, and 26. Ha Elohim, the creator. Men in contrast with angels. Hebrew, ha Adam. Sing the man Adam. Adam. See Appendix 14i. They emphatically wives equal women. Uh, paragraph uh, chapter 2, verse 22. And then uh, verse 3 is Hebrew ruach or spirit. My spirit, my ruach. Yep. yep. Very, ruach very HaKodesh. It's Holy Spirit. Well, that's not who it, Ruach HaKodesh there. It's just ruach because it doesn't say. No, no, Holy I know. Spirit. But I'm, I'm, I, I added, I just said that I understood that Ruach HaKodesh. I, mean, I know a little bit of Hebrew enough to be dangerous. Dangerous. But, so yeah, you, exactly. There you go. There you go. So 
you're adding the scripture. So go back to the sons of God equals angels. That's not Stephen King's interpretation. Dude, it doesn't matter. Okay, if fallen angels. We just lost your audio, Kevin. Right after you said <laughs> angels. This doesn't say that these were descendants of uh, Adam and Eve. If you know, if you understand that. Well, it's not going to give you the whole. It's not going to explain everything. It's not going to. It's not going to explain, you it's not gonna explain 25 hours of study in two seconds. Nephilim were not born of men, you moron. Well, you know, that's your opinion. I, Jude, I, I'm Jude, just Jude, telling you that what you're saying. So, so what, shut up. The angels that left their first estate are reserved. Shut up. Okay, I'm out of here. You guys have a good oh, evening. Good. Good. Piss off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get right. fucked. Wait a second. I want to take a look at this. Idiot. Just, just, just calm just down. Calm down. No, out. I'm not going. I'm so sick of stupidity and division and morons. They're looking for a deeper Gnostic understanding of the simple plain text. Go fuck yourself. That's how I feel about, about it. it. And excuse my French, but I'm sick of dipshits thinking they, they know everything. Get the fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself. You know, I, I, just, I just don't see, don't see where, Abe, where, Abe, uh, uh, where Eve had, Eve sex, had with sex with the devil. With the devil. It's not in the Bible. Yeah, I don't it see it. Me off. I had a friend, I've known a guy for 14 years, and he disfellowshipped with me over this stupidity. You believe so it? So where is that we're here for? See, Adam, um, <sighs> hmm. Oh, the revised version is mentioned here, too. That's another weird one from Westcott and Hort. So you got Westcott and Hort involved in this, too. Well, sure. I don't know. I just oh, heard all these bad things bad about these guys. Well, here's the thing, David. Whether you're, you're talking about these fringe manuscripts or you're talking about the Texas Receptus, they all use the Masoretic, right? So it's, all, it's the same Hebrew for all these translations. So there's really no reason for it to deviate. It's the same Hebrew text. The thing is, sons of God, he is correct. Um, I think in the was it, book of Job alludes to the sons of God being angels. But it seems like he's assuming that these sons of God were born from Eve having sex with the, with the devil. It just doesn't say that. I think the book of Jude ties in to um, Genesis 6. And the angels that left their no, I think that's a little bit different. I think I think the I serpent think the, seed is different from Eve having sex. I mean, uh, the serpent seed is different from the fallen angels. In in this manner, the fallen well, it angels. It seemed like had sex he was trying to tie them together. Men. Was was well, he trying maybe, to tie them know. together? I don't think so. I don't know for sure. Well, it's it know. seems like he was trying to make a connection because why else would he have told you to turn here? Uh, I don't know. We didn't get that far, but yeah. I don't know. Arnold Murray, uh, he's kind of a guy I've never trusted. Yeah. And these idiots always say, oh, read the book of Enoch and stuff. And you know what else you could find in the book of Enoch? That the, the sun and the moon travel through portals uh, and that the earth is a flat disk and we live over a giant fishbowl dome. Uh, you know, the sun and moon are only a few miles up in the air. Uh, that teaches a false gospel. Angels apparently are interceding for you in heaven instead of. You know, Christ. I know a guy who dabbles in this stuff too, is and that's Lionheart. Lionheart well, well that, he's he's fringe too, man. He's got a weird. Uh, he's into all this uh, stuff with his book of Enoch and everything. You get and, a little reverb, Dave. Yeah, he's got the bad reverb. I know it's really bad. I don't know what happened to the. What the hell is going on with your signal there, Kevin? I don't um, hear it. I don't hear it now, but I thought it was you. Well, he muted because you, when he mutes, you don't hear it. But when he oh, opens his mute. Oh, okay. All right. It's okay. terrible. I'm just putting up with it. I'm not really saying much about it other than that one time. But uh, Kevin knows how to fix stuff eventually, too. He'll try. Well, you see that uh, Steve, Steve's gone. He uh, called me and said he, he, he just bowed out. He's gone. Okay. Well, Ryan showed up. Ryan, 
Eve had sex with the devil, and that's how we got Cain. What do you think? Oh, no, I, I was only here, Dave, to say I heard about your mom, and I'm very sorry. He's to hear not about good oh, hey, thanks a lot. No, I appreciate that. I do. Oh. Yeah, it's been a rough time, and I'm missing her bad. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that she's she's no longer with us, Dave, but uh, I just wanted right. to, to give you my condolences. I got to get rolling. I don't have. No, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. But well, let me, real, real quick, Eve didn't have sex with the devil, right? No, I don't think so at all. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. No, thanks well, a lot, nice really. Day. Okay, man. Well, I told you, Dave. Earl. Quite a few people over there that used to follow. I mean, I know it says Book of Nicodemus. That's it. Some. I never heard of the Nick book. The Book of nicodemus never heard oh, of there's it. a lot of different things there's like the gospel according to saint thomas and all different things well what happened yeah. was the gnostics um took the names of of uh biblical figures and mm -hmm. they wrote books and attributed it to them the, the, the gnostics were doing that it, uh, garbage. yeah the gnostics <laughs> the gnostics the gnostics. Oh, kind of right. I think the Greek word is gnosko, which means knowledge. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is gnosko. Yep. I wonder what they gnu. <laughs> Not much. Uh, <laughs> trouble. Uh, yeah, it's it's all weird, man. I don't read none of that stuff. You know, Dave, a lot you of these. Feel like it sometime. On Esword, uh, Irenaeus against heresies is free. If you want to read that sometime, Irenaeus uh, was a bishop in the first century, and he fought against mm -hmm. Gnosticism. He wrote five books on it, and uh, some of this stuff you'll actually find in there of him refuting it. And it's not Christianity; the church fought against. Yeah, if you, I mean, I've been reading through it. I'm in. I'm only in book two. It's really long. Um, it's five books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just met Stephen here at, in, at the gun show recently, and uh, he's not used to this interaction on YouTube. He's never seen it before, I don't think, that we do around here. So, you know how that goes. Just so you know. And I've been on here long enough to know how it works. and <laughs> You know what I mean? I just kind of roll with it sometime. I don't let it bother me all the time, you know. And I'm starting, I'm starting to get tired to... here, David. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, I should probably go and eat some of that casserole, but I'll come back. I'm going to be on. You don't have to stay on just because I'm on. I'll be up here for a while. I'm going to be up all night probably doing my paper chase. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, better man than I am going good in. Yeah, I got a lot to do. Yeah, I want to apologize for using inappropriate language. It hit someone close to me. A friend of mine, you know, doesn't talk to me anymore because of this nonsense. I know you get all passionate. I get it. <coughs> all right, so guys. Good night, Kevin, Mike. Dave. See, I'm going to bed. See you later. All right, Mike. Good to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow, man. All right, bye. That's Mike the cop, Kevin. He lives over here by me, not too far. Oh, okay, cool. So what what's going on, Dave? What's new, man? No, we were just horsing around, just doing a church broadcast and nothing major. Trying to sift through some things. Like you saw, you know. People like to bring this stuff up and you know how that goes. Yeah, it seems to me that I even saw uh, not too long ago, I'm not sure though, one of you guys, maybe you were, um, you were talking about Irenaeus. I think both of you have been on that topic, haven't you, every now and then? Oh, Just Irenaeus? Yeah, on the, on, the, on the Irenaeus or whatever. 
Yeah, his yeah, his, against heresies. It's five books long, mm-hmm. but he he refutes everything the Gnostics taught and believed in the first century. Right, right. And how it's not Christian. Mm-hmm. When was he at? When was his uh, time frame, Irenaeus? Uh, Irenaeus lived around like 80 AD. Oh, he was okay. In so he fact, goes way back. Way back. He knew Polycarp, and Polycarp was a disciple of John the Beloved, the Apostle. Okay. Oh, so he's not one of these Johnny Come Lately guys and the Reformers. No, no. He's way back, yeah. What language did he speak, Irenaeus? Uh, He spoke Greek. Yeah, Irenaeus spoke Greek. Yeah. Arnold Murray, shall we turn in our father's word? Hey, Dave, I never. Do you have any recordings of that Calvinist you always. You could cry out to God. No, I've been I've trying never to heard find that guy. <laughs> well, yeah, I got, let's see if we can find one here. I'll look it up on, on my sites. I have a hard time finding his interactions like that, but I remember he had a few call-ins that went just like that. Um, um, that is ridiculous. Harold Camping, open forum. Let me see if I can. We'll just grab a, you know, a random one. He was a real goofball. Thank you for calling and sharing, and shall we take our next call? the open forum a telephone talk program designed to give people an opportunity to ask questions and discuss issues related to the bible our host is harold camping of family stations incorporated this open forum has been pre-recorded we will not be taking live calls however we encourage you to stay tuned and consider the inquiries that others have made we trust this will provide insight into the bible the infallible word of god which is able to impart firm direction and offer testimony of life through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Remember, this broadcast has been pre-recorded. Now we present Open Forum with our host and Bible teacher, Harold Camping. Evening. How are you tonight? Again, may I have the privilege and the pleasure of coming into your home to visit with you for a little while? What shall we talk about together this evening on this anonymous telephone program? What subject is of concern to you? As you know, this is a program designed to offer you the opportunity to call in and share. Share your question or offer your comment on any subject whatsoever. In my role as host of this program, I will endeavor to relate your call to this marvelous book that God has given us. This book is the Bible. The Bible, which is the source book of truth. But this is your program. We want to hear from you. So shall we take our first call tonight, please? Good evening. Welcome to Open Forum. Uh, good evening. I have a, a question. Uh, I'd basically like to know, uh, can or will uh, God the Holy Spirit or God the Father uh, woo a person, that is, draw a person uh, in any way uh, to repentance uh, to any degree without having the full intention of saving that individual. We, of course, cannot investigate or know what God does. We do know this, that God gives us certain principles that he operates by or that we are to operate or or to realize. One is that no man can come to me except the Father draw him. Now, how God works in the hearts of people to draw them just how he interrelates with the saved people, how he interrelates with the unsaved people, those are mysteries that we don't have to resolve and can't resolve. All we know is is that I'm a sinner. I'm in trouble with God. And all I know is is that God promises me that if I seek him with all my 